Hey guys, well it's time for a video um, and today I'm going to make a bit of a return um, to my tech videos because I present to you now um, my impressions of a month with this, my lovely iPod Touch. Um, I'm just going to go through some standard things on the iPod and uh, tell you what I think of them. First off, I like how you can actually lock the iPod. Um, considering now that we've got internet, um, maybe personal email on this, it's it's good. It's not a excellent security system, but um, I'm sure that a number of thieves wouldn't even bother trying to unlock that. So I haven't jailbreaked my iPhone, nor do I really plan to, to be honest. Um, unless I suddenly get interested, and I also want to pre to present to you just um, stock. So as you can see it is running 1.1.3. You'll also notice it hasn't got the new apps because, I'm sorry Apple, I'm not paying you $20 for some apps that I should have had in the first place. So uh, you can take that and shove it up your ass. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, music. Well, it's an iPod and therefore, you know, you're always amazed by the quality of it and also you know it, it, you've got everything you've got all your music and um you know i mean i'll just play something for you here why not out of my personal collection so that's what i'm playing at the moment there um so yeah you know the cover flow is very nice and if you turn it um you can flick through your albums and it's pretty useful but really it boils down to the fact that it's just an ipod um and it does everything you want from an iPod. Right, so moving on to some of the things I'm more impressed with on it. Um, video. Video looks brilliant on the iPod Touch and because of the smaller screen resolution I can compress most of my movies, for example um, Jackass 2, I can compress that down to about 500 megabytes and it still looks outstanding. Um, on this device very very nice I like the way you can you know you just drag your finger across to skip through um, which br will bring me on to another point how accurate this is so you can see at the moment Bam Margera is getting his ass branded <laughs> um, photos what I really love about iPods in general I've experienced it with other iPods not just the touch but is they're great photo sharing devices because if you love your music you're going to have this thing with you constantly. You're not going to leave it at home, um, unless you can't take it somewhere, you don't want it damaged, stolen, etc. But if you're going with family, you know, you want something for the car ride, and then they say, oh, can I see those new photos from Fiji? Well, if you just sync your iPod Touch with your iPhoto library, which is, again, incredibly simple, then um, you can just go in and look at, I mean, there's an image from when I was just on vacation in Fiji. And you can even do a little bit of a uh, of a slideshow, which is a really nice touch. And the effect is awesome. I love the effect it does when it changes pictures. Excellent. Great theme for Fiji too. But yeah, just a really great photo sharing device. Um, really nice. iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store. Um, don't really have a need to use it much because in New Zealand, finding a hotspot when you're out and about is very tough. Um, especially finding an unsecured one and if I'm at home I'm just going to use the Mac but if I late at night when I've shut this down and I just see what's hot oh free single of the week I just go you know three download and I've noticed it actually downloads faster than my, I, um, my iMac um, it took about 30 seconds to download a police song um, 30 seconds whereas the iMac took about two minutes um, just did it really fast, and we're talking an 8 meg file, so I was reasonably impressed with that. Um, yes, we have bad internet in New Zealand. In terms of other things, the clock is a clock. Um, nice little stopwatch, you know, I love the little, the way the UI's been designed. That is, that is very beautiful. And, um, you know, clock, you know, that can be useful, but it displays it up there. You can have alarms, which I find the only thing that will actually wake me up these days is an iPod alarm with my music. Um, don't ask me why. Calculator, well, if you need a calculator, I don't, but um, could be useful, I suppose, at some point. you got your settings. Um, contacts, I don't use that because I just have my contacts 
on my phone, but from what I see it is quite cool and if you want to grab someone's details and that's dead or you don't have it, then you've got a great alternative. Um, the calendar, same sort of thing, don't use it, I don't actually timetable a calendar personally, I've just never seen the point. Um, I know some of you will go, oh what for me doing that, but um, never seen the point. Safari, and you might know I've skipped over YouTube, yes I have. Um, Safari is awesome, really, really cool on the iPod, and look, I mean, I'm sorry, this is why Apple shouldn't be charging 20, oh, you can get your email, well, Gmail has this fantastic interface for email on both the iPod Touch and the iPhone, and it works for flawlessly, um, so personally, I don't see the point of the email app, maps and notes, yes, I can agree with, um, but I'm still not paying 20, I'm sorry, um, so yes, Safari, it's basically a web browser. That's why I'm not going into it, because it just does everything it needs to do. Um, it's just really nicely designed. YouTube's the last one. While I wish that Apple would build YouTube into the Safari browser, still excellent. Um, the way it's implemented, fast, excellent quality, videos seem to get, you know, converted instantly, download times are very fast, and if you've watched my video called Be Determined Aim High, this is actually the national anthem of New Zealand being played here. You know, pretty standard stuff. Great. Um, yeah, and YouTube is really beautifully designed and all this sort of thing. My final point um, is, a good point, is how accurate the touchscreen is. It's amazing. I go onto a website that's got heaps of stuff on it, like, oh, I don't know, not the new, something like Mac Rumors or the unofficial Apple web blog, and I tap somewhere wildly, knowing what I want. It's like this damn thing knows what you want. It's, it scares me sometimes, because I'm just like, oh, but, oh my god, it actually guessed correctly. Wow, that is precise. Um, that's a really nice point. And I find typing on the iPhone keyboard, I find it very natural. Very nice. Um, yeah. Now, you guys all know that I love Apple and I prefer Apple over Windows. However, I have to find some negatives, and I can find negatives in the iPod Touch, as I can find in any Apple product. I'm sorry, Apple fanboys. Well, no, I'm not sorry, alright? There are flaws in every product on the market today. Nothing in this world is perfect. Negative points. Well, again, I'm not paying $20 for five, all of which, except a couple, are useless applications. Um... It could have more, well, we've got to wait for the SDK, but that should have been there from day one, I'm, um, I'm afraid, you know. Another way of Apple doing what Apple likes to do sometimes, which is lock their systems down, which is beneficial in some ways, but downright annoying, frustrating, and limiting in others, and that's what it is on the iPod Touch. I think for the Macintosh it's worked, the hardware-software thing, but for this, locking it off like that hasn't worked. Um, really... Despite that is one of the few negatives I can find with this thing. I do find that sometimes um, in the music section, if you're playing a large music file, which the iPod Plus files, uh, iTunes Plus files are getting pretty big these days. I downloaded one the other day that was 12 megabytes. Um, while that might not seem like a lot, for a little device like this, it can really confuse the accelerometer. And when you're flicking through music like this, and you just go a little bit like that, by accident, bang, you're in cover flow. And you're like, oh crap, and you tilt it, and if you're in the middle of a song, sometimes it won't come back, and you have to quit out of music by pressing this, and go back into music. Basically saying, it is quite easy to confuse the accelerometer on this device. So yeah, other than the accelerometer being confused, and the SDK not being around, other than that, this device is... Excellent. Um, highly recommend it to you, um, especially if you live in a country that doesn't have the iPhone and you've already got, like me, a perfectly good mobile phone. I don't need a good phone. Alright, I just text people. That's it. Don't need anything else. Done. Um, other than that, yeah, I would recommend this device to people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10. Cheers, guys.